For more videos visit forthesakeofeducation.com Alright guys, now we're going to determine the tension developed on cables AB, AC and AD for equilibrium of this 300 pound crate. So you know that you have a force right down here of 300 pounds and you have another uh, three forces, one going towards B, one going towards C and one going towards D in order to maintain the system at equilibrium. So what we're going to do is we're going to break this uh, system down into univectors and then we're going to create our equations and solve for all the components. So first we need to find all the points involved, which are A sits at 0 on the i plus 0 on the j plus 0 on the k sits at the origin. B sits at negative 2 in the i plus 1 in the j plus 2 in the k. C sits at negative 2 in the i minus 2 in the j plus 1 in the k and d which sits at 3 in the i plus 0 in the j plus 0 in the k so let's start with uh, univector a b a b to find univector a b you need to find a b first which is b minus a and it sits at negative 2 in the i plus 1 in the j plus 2 in the k then you need to find the magnitude of AB, which is given by the square root of the X component square plus the Y component square plus the C component square. Once you plug in these three numbers into this formula, you get that the magnitude is equal to exactly 3. So the univector AB comes out to be the vector AB divided by its magnitude, which in turn is negative 0 0.667 in the i plus 0 0.333 in the j plus 0 0.667 in the k. In that same manner we're going to find uh, the other two univectors um, a c, I'm going to move quicker, a c is minus 2 in the i minus 2 in the j plus 1 in the k, the magnitude of a c is equal to 3 also and the univector aiming in the AC direction is equal to minus 0.667 in the I minus 0.667 in the J plus 0.333 in the K and the same thing goes for AD AD is equal to 3 in the i plus 0 in the j plus 0 in the k, which means that the magnitude of AD is equal to 3, which means that the univector I mean in the AD direction is just 1 in the i plus 0 in the j plus 0 in the k. And then you know that the uh, last uh, vector, the one of the one going straight down, univector, let's call it of the crate, is equal to 0 in the i plus 0 in the j minus 1 in the k because it's just going straight down. So now that we have all the univectors, we know that the tension of the of the cables is given by multi the Cartesian vector form of the tension of the cables is given by multiplying the tension of the cables by the univectors aiming in their respective directions. So what does that mean? This means that the tension a b is equal to the magnitude of the tension times a univector aiming in the EB direction. Tension of AC is the same thing, aiming in the UAC. Tension of AD is equal to the tension aiming in the AD direction. And the tension of the crate is equal to the tension of the crate, the magnitude of tension of the crate times the univector aiming in that direction. So when you multiply each of them, you're going to get that the first one is equal to minus 0.667ab in the i plus point, there's a point here, point 0.333ab in the j plus 0.667ab in the k. The second one is equal to minus 0.667 AC in the I minus 0.667 AC in the K plus 0.333 AC in the, sorry this is the K and this is the J. 
third one you know that it's going straight towards the x so it's ad in the i plus zero in the j plus zero in the k and last one's going straight down so it's zero in the i plus zero in the j minus the weight of the crate in the k which is 300 pounds which is right 300 pounds all right minus 300 in the k and you know that when you add these the sum of the forces is equal to zero so this will be zero in the i plus zero in the j plus zero in the k zero zero so now we're going to add all the i's together and we're going to get that negative 0.667 ab minus 0.667 ac plus ad is equal to zero we're going to add all the j's together and we're going to get that 0.333 ab minus 0.667 ac is equal to zero then we're going to add all the k's together and we're going to get that 0.667 ab plus 0.333 ac is equal to 300 which is move the 300 to the right side of the equation so let's call this equation one equation two equation three now equation two if i multiply it by negative two and I write it right here, I'm going to get that minus 0.667 AB plus 1.333 AC is equal to zero. And if I add it with this equation, I get the ABs cancel out and I get 1.667 AC is equal to 300. So AC is equal to 180 pounds. Then this uh, AC, I plug it into any equation. Let's plug it into equation number two. And you can solve for AB and you get that AB is gonna be equal to 360 pounds. And then you get these two values and you plug it into equation one. You solve for the last one, which is AD and you get that AD is equal to 360 pounds also. So these are the three tensions on the cable to maintain the system in equilibrium. Final answer. <coughs> Please comment below if you want me to do any problems and I'll be happy to help. Thank you.